Red. 21 plus for vaping only, says this Modus. One of my favorite companies of the year. I, they don't mess around. It's using the GX200H-U-T-V2 chipset. Uh, it takes two 18650s, high drain 18650s. Uh, 5 to 200 watts. 5 watts, 120 watts in temperature control mode. That's not bad. Uh, resistance range of thermal use is 0.1 to 3 ohms. Temperature limited, 2112, 572, 1 to 3. TCR, TFR modes, thermal uses in multiple, multiple materials. Curve mode, firmware upgradable. Uh, output volts, 7.5 volts. It's a 1 amp uh, charging. And then it says it's got 2 amp as well, 12 volt, 2 amp. So it does have 1 amp and 2 amp capabilities. All right, 35 amps is the output current, 6.4 to 8.4 volts, standby current. Infrared int interface, which is very, it's the selling point on this thing, man. It's definitely a selling point. This thing comes in a crap ton of colors as well, but you're gonna get your Lustro, 200 watt. You're gonna get a pull tab. Inside of the pull tab, you're gonna get what batteries to use and what not to use. A warranty card, 30 days. Uh, I wish it was a little bit more, but they do kind of cover, depending on what it is, a little bit longer than that. And these are the places that cover the warranty in different countries. Pause that if you need it. You're also going to get a user manual. That's all your specs that I just gave you. Inside of the box, inside of the mod itself, you're going to get a USB-C Type-C uh, cable for charging and upgrading. One amp. Or 2 amp. You need a 12 volt for a 2 amp, but you can do a 5 volt with a 1 amp. It's better to charge on a bay called a day. So if you lose this, you can't want to use one of your micro USB ports cables, you know? So keep this. This is for upgrading. Keep that safe. So here it is. This thing comes in a bunch of colors. I got the black version. So it's gonna it's on pre-order. It's gonna come in black, brown, candy green, gunmetal, orange, prism, red. Royal blue, teal, white, white thermo, yellow, gold, and purple. Uh, the teal looks sick. A lot of the colors look sick. You got your fire button that lights up. You got a nice LED light here as well. It has a purpose to it, which I'll show you in the dock and show you what's up. Got your micro USB. I'm sorry. Whoa. So used to doing that. Your micro type C. Uh, port got your nice as modus 510 stainless steel 510 it's stainless steel it's not gold plated which i like it's something different very nice travel very nice spring loaded travel very nice 510 it's all flat so it's everything's going to sit flush on this Let's get some measurements up here, huh? You get about 40 millimeters wide here. It's gonna be about 35 millimeters wide there. You're gonna get about 80 millimeters tall by 40 by 35. All right, so it's a nice size to it. Drop, black version, which is a 24 millimeter. 24s are gonna look good. 25s are gonna look good. But everything sits flush. There's no gap on this whatsoever. Let's take the Recoil Rebel. By Grim Green, no gap whatsoever, 25s, perfect. Look at that, all black, I think it's nice murdered out. I'll take a 30, not bad, little bit of overhang, not bad though. Not that bad with a 30 on there, it, it doesn't, it doesn't look bad. A few hazers out there, a few hazers that watch me, let's put the... Uh, 502 on that bitch. It looks really good with a 502, man. I'm telling you, you got the 502. I'm going to drip tip in there now. But it looks nice with the 502. And it's got the uh, Vapor Shock feel to it. It's got a nice Modus logo on there with holes for ventilation for the door. Now on the bottom, there's holes for ventilation right here. Then right there, that's a fucking flashlight, guys. It's got a flashlight. This thing is handy dandy. 
Flashlights are always helpful. I'm I'm not gonna mention that as gimmicky. That's that actually has purpose. There's a lot of times I need a flashlight and I don't have one on me. Dude, you got a friggin' flashlight. You got holes for ventilation. Alright? You got a nice touch screen, and this is using infrared uh responses, which we're gonna go over in a second. But you could pop that door off. Magnets are covered by uh nice media blasted. Uh, they did a great job on the paint job. They really did. They really, really did. That's the internals. Spring-loaded, and it lets you know push up, push up, and it is labeled plus, minus, minus, plus. Well, plus, minus, plus, minus. So it's in series, but I do wish they put the labeling of the plus and minuses white. You know? Uh, it, it's just... It, 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 it just... It's... You need it visually for people. Other companies do it. So, this modus, I think you should follow suit on that. All right. Now, you've got nice stainless steel contacts. And it's got that, like, uh, lost vape um, ring around the contact down below. And then these are stainless steel and these are spring-loaded. So, I definitely, I don't have any tearing with battery issues or anything like that. Then you have a nice strap for the battery and then it is quality control pass sticker in there as well minus down right the door goes on very i mean it doesn't even make noise it's so quiet if you put it on there so freaking quiet there's really no movement in the door they did a great job great job on the door one, two, three, four, five. It's going to turn on. All right. And then it's going to ask you, married batteries without damage only? Yes or no? And then that's going to spin. And that is your screen. That's your fire button. It does light up. And it. look at that. Oh, buddy. Beautiful. This is going to be a little bit longer of a review. I got to go into detail. You got power. You got your voltage. You got your ohms. You got this little spinometer. Okay. Your wattage. Your battery indicator down below. You have normal mode. See, it's locked, right? Slide to unlock. And then you can use your hand. Is it still locked? No. You can use your hand to go through the different modes. Curve, temp, power, TFR, TCR, curve. You want to go the other way? Come on. It's not, you know, super... See, you. sometimes it does... You have to get it in the right spot. But when you're near the screen, it does it very well. One, two, three. We'll lock. Won't fire, won't do anything. One, two, three. It's going to unlock. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get into the menu. That's to shut it off. You have your read the resistance. You can adjust it if you needed to. Fire button when you're done. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Should I go farther out so you can see what the hell I'm doing? I don't know. Then you have your to your standby time. Okay. You see, you hit it. It goes back. You're going to wave it. I have to look when I do that. Slide to lock. You can have it to unlock it. You can slide or click it. Keep going. LED, you can change from blue to green to red. All right, I'm doing blue. Go again. That's to have your light on or off. If you want the lights off, you can put them on. If you want them on, that's the way you do that. Boom, boom. That's your firmware. Uh, fast, slow, medium, fast, slow, medium. V, that's your version. Okay, 2.1, go again, upgrade, you would hit yes if it's connected, 
fun, real, okay. Oh, that you can change that. Puff counter. You can have a limit, I think. You can shut it off by holding it. And then it says system off. Five clicks, gonna turn it back on. And then you go. Right? 0.13, you click there to, to adjust. Hold. I know you can't see that. Oh yeah, you can. It goes up to 120. And 0.1, over 100, it's one watt. Okay, click it when you're done. Click that to 450. Hold it. You can adjust your temperature. Okay. Click on when you're done. And there we are. TFR. TCR. Hold it. You can adjust your temperature coefficient value. You can like swipe to adjust. Right? And now I set my coefficient value. Is that too bright? Does that look better? Let's go over. Curve. Temp. Hold in there, you can do nickel, stainless steel 304, 316, 317, titanium. Okay, so you have all your coils that you want to choose. Let's go back. That's what I've been rocking. If you slide up when it's locked, you can get to the flashlight. And you could do one, all right, that's one level. You click it again, it's a bigger level, and then you get your flashlight, I'll show you that in a second. You click it again, and then it's off. That's one, see this two, and then off. You have that fist, you can have that on or off. All right, and now that fist is off. See how that fist is X'd out now? See, it doesn't, sometimes it, there we go. I want that on. See, now I can. I want to put the old nice gold dropper ruski on there. I think it looks good. It's going to weigh 306 grams in weight with two 18650s and the drop. Coils, wicked up, juice, the whole nine. It's going to weigh 256 grams with two 18650s. And it's going to weigh 166 grams in weight with no batteries inside. That is next to Small Ants Ranka. <laughs> Ranka, you Ranka, you. That is next to Liverpool's 256 triple 18650. That is next to Drip Tech's TS by 528 Customs and Greg Stevens triple 18650 squonk. That's next to Ginger Vapes Boxa single 2700 squonk. That's next to Hot Sig's RSQ. That is next to Smock's uh, G Priv 2 Luke Luke edition. You guys want to see a review on that? It's just a different uh, fingerprint magnet galore, guy. Look at that single color. Oh, now I'm loving this IDA. I'm going to show you the lights and the flashlight when it's dark. Let's do that now before we go back up. So we're back from the close-up, guys, on the Lustro 200-watt by Ismodus. Yeah, 
great chip, great company. So a couple things I want to clarify, okay? On the bottom, you have those three uh, indications. The middle one is going to be your gesture, gesture switch status. You can shut off the gestures and turn them on, okay? That's called the gesture switch status, okay? Then there's also the lock that's on the right. And then on the left 